spot, okay? okay? Would you like people to say, like me, often I think, oh, I wish I could ask her that. Yeah, yeah, you can ask her. If there's anything you'd like to, you know, shout out in the middle. Go for it, everywhere. Okay, thank you. Uh, so I'm a modern pilgrim, and um, I had the idea to travel from Brecon to Mormonstone, following roughly the footsteps of St. Moena, when I came down here, actually, in 2011. And um, I did sign up work, I was very well, and I thought I needed something to refocus. So I started looking into the history of my name and discovered St. Moen. I'm like, oh, I've just got a church and everything. I'll come and visit. So I was sitting here, I was thinking, I wonder what life was like in the fifth century compared to what it's like now, how it compares, what was Britain like, how do people live, how do people travel, and wanted to know more about where she'd come from and her life. So I discovered that she'd come from Brecon and thought, would she have travelled by donkey? That was my original plan, to do the trip. But then discovering that I was actually too big to ride a donkey, thought, OK, I'll have to scrap that idea. I'll do something a bit different. So I decided to cycle from the Taff Trail to Cardiff, and then managed to get a, a fishing boat across the Bristol Channel by getting in touch with the harbour master from Minehead. And he very kindly organised somebody to pick us up. And then to walk from Minehead down to Mormonstone. But it was an extra challenge for me because when I was 12, I had a brain hemorrhage, which is a form of stroke. So walking is a challenge. And uh, in 2008, I was given an implant, which helps improve my walking called a stimmy step. So it's semi-bionic, but I can't do the yeah. that kind of <laughs> bionic woman running, otherwise I would have done it in like a few days. And I thought, can I actually do this trip? You know, there's walking like 13 miles in a day. I don't even know if I can do it. I'll try. I'll see. I'll see what I can do. So set off, and Richard, my partner, he joined me for the first week with the cycling, and then the walking. And the first night, the walking, we actually arrived in the dark, and we didn't have a torch, so we had to use our night eyes <laughs> to get into Porlock Weir. And when we arrived, everything was closed. The pub was saying it was shut up. The lights were out, and we were standing outside with our dog thinking, OK, <laughs> I thought the hardest part would be getting the boat across the Bristol Channel. Thankfully, someone next door came out and we were able to use their phone because that's another thing, no phone reception. But then in the fifth century, you wouldn't have had phones, so you'd ask someone to help you. And he let us call the other pub. They came down and let us in. And I thought, okay, things are going to be interesting <laughs> on this trip. But everything worked out. Everything worked out along the way. The weather has been great. I've had rest days in between because I thought I needed to make sure I was going to finish it rather than really... Um, doing myself an injury, I didn't really want to do that. And each day I'd have a rest day, that's when it rained. And the next day when I was walking, the sun was shining. I had um, different friends join me at different parts, that was really lovely. I would invite people to come and walk with me for one section of the walk. And they'd come down, join me for a part, and then they'd go home, and then I might spend a day on my own walking, and then somebody else would join me for the next part. And that was great, that was good to do that. And then the last part coming in to Morinstow on Friday was probably the hardest part, I think, of the walk. The really steep down. So a lot of my um, cards, each day I've been doing an art card, which is a visual representation of the journey. And there's quite a lot of this mm. <laughs> going on on the route. Um, and it was quite, it felt great to finish it. But then at the same time, I think, oh, I've done it now. After all this, this time of planning it, and then walking it, and each day saying, oh, today I'm walking here, and tomorrow I'll be walking there. Now to say, I've completed that now. That's been done. It feels, it feels really good, and I think I surprised myself, really, in how I was able to complete it and to do it. And I think that made me think about what things other people might have done recently to surprise themselves, and whether or not uh, you challenge yourself on a kind of daily basis, and look for ways to to see, can I do that? I'll try and see. I'll see what happens. And then to actually surprise yourself with what you can do. So. That's wonderful, isn't it? Is that okay? Anybody, any questions? Any questions? Go on, somebody ask a question. Yes? How long did it take you all together? Um, I did it over 21 days. So. Oh, very good. What are you going to do now? <laughs> 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 I thought you said you did well done it, though. You must be thinking. Well, I've got, yeah, well, I was looking at the, because I think um, she studied in Ireland. So I thought, oh, I could do from Ireland to Brecon, that kind of trip. And then maybe from Brecon to um, uh, Mulwellan Key down there. 
some other ideas for some adventures. Yeah. So this won't be the last. <laughs> no, I think yeah. it's, it's the travelling, isn't it? It's, are you are you are you rewarded by what you see here? Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we do have some well as well, well, don't we, down the, down yeah, the cliffs? I it. I uh, you, it, were, it you can't see it. It's a bit of a bit of a trek. But it, you know, it's quite hard. I think uh, I don't want to do it today. Um, no, no. But, uh, I looked at when we were walking that last part, and I was like, where is it? Where the is OS it? map is not like where it is. Difficult to no, get. I think that. And but I brought a pebble from Brecon. A pebble from Brecon. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, we'll we'll put this somewhere. It's special. We just. Uh, I'll, I'll that. So yeah. I need to pick up something and then carry it with me. Yes. And, you know, bring it to the end, and that that's been on the, the journey with yes. all the people I've met. And well, on your next journey, you have to take your scallop shell. Yes. But it, actually, on the Camino, they um, they do climb a mountain, and there's a huge pile of stones which everybody who's climbed up there on it has yes. laid this down. Yeah. We have we have other saints trails we can do for you. you know? Two two saints one from. From Padstow to Foy? Okay. Yes, but yes, that's, uh, yes, just Foy, yes, you can do that, that's quite nice. Uh, and meet them, go to the churches and things along the way. But isn't it good to have somebody actually do that? It's lovely. <laughs> I've only met, we've only had some other pilgrims before, they came from America. They weren't working, they were sort of bust in the best of, uh, from best hotel to best hotel. So they were, I did they, use Lenny's transcript. You did? Yeah, you? I was thinking about, I didn't wear sandals, I had like walking boots. Yeah, it's quite sensible. I had yeah. the money. Because I didn't think about doing it all like that, but I thought, no, I just I need to see if I can actually do the walking. I was going to dress as a pilgrim and all that. Yes. Yeah. Well, you have a modern pilgrim, and it's been wonderful. I think we should give it. Yeah, I think we should do it now. All right, great. <laughs> Which is nice because they don't have to listen to me. They're all things like that. So uh, we're going to uh, continue with. I, I have to press on. I'm sorry to sort of keep going. Obviously. <laughs>